No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach. I own my own social media marketing agency called Brampaneer here in the Netherlands and I also have my own education business where I basically coach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first clients, how to build it all up, automate it and scale it so that you too can live life on your own terms. Now, um, today's video is slightly different than all of my other videos. It's a bit more of a, a challenge type video video so a while back um well, to be fair it wasn't a while back it was last week i got this message here and basically someone asked me um what i would do if i had seven days to start uh, start an agency now quick disclaimer this whole video will be for entertainment purposes only i do not recommend starting an agency in seven days um i am basically going to show you in this video that yes, you know, you can actually do quite a lot of damage within seven days, but the whole SMMA business model is a serious service-based business that, you know, it will take a longer period to actually build out, to automate and to streamline, okay? There are enough gurus out there that promote the get rich quick uh, lifestyle. So, um, you know, just sorry to uh, be the bearer of bad news, but if you actually want to build out an agency that basically provides that freedom that uh, all these gurus promise, then yes, you know, you will need to actually put a lot of time, a lot of effort into it. But anyway, like I said, um, I do like a challenge and it, it actually had to get like quite creative with what I was going to do if I only had seven days to start my own agency. And um, basically what we're going to do now is look into how to go from zero to one so not zero to seven figures or anything like that just zero to the point where you know we can consistently do our recent start getting meetings and clients for our agency within seven days without prior experience without prior knowledge etc no portfolio to lean on nothing like that so uh, that is basically how we are going to structure this video so day number one so let's say we start our agency journey on Monday. Uh, day number one will be spent on picking a service. Now, for those of you that have watched my previous videos on how to earn 100 euros a day with social media marketing, will remember the graph where I basically showed you how to pick a service. Uh, the first question you need to ask yourself is, do you already have a service that you can basically help uh, businesses get results with? For example, website design, SEO, uh, Google ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, Bing ads, uh, any type of paid traffic, maybe you're good at influencer marketing or whatever that may be. Uh, do you have a service like that that you already understand and that you can already get results with? If you can, uh, then you need to ask yourself, is this a scalable service or does it require a lot of your input? Now, I understand that this is just for the first seven day period. So um, if it's not scalable, then what you can do is basically pick this service for now. And, you know, basically while you are doing that service actively, you can sharpen your sword in another service that is more scalable for your agency. If it is scalable, for example, Facebook ads, then just go all in on that. If you don't actually possess, um, you know, or have the ability to um, have, you know, have a service or give out a service to these businesses, then what I would do if I was you is just pick a value-based service. And what you can even do is find a contractor while you study and learn how to do it yourself. Eventually, you will be working on the business rather than in the business. So, you, you know, you won't be doing that anymore yourself anyway, but it, it's always good to understand how to do and how to get results if you uh, needed to do it. Or also, even if you just wanna check if your media buyer is doing an okay job. Okay, so day one will be spent entirely on picking a service. Then day number two, we will be cleaning up our socials. And because we only have the seven days, uh, we are not going to be building out a website. Um, you guys know what I think about websites. Um, basically, when I started out, I was in the, the website mentality, as I like to call it, where I spent the first few months actually building out the website, learning how to build out the website, 
Then I spent a few months building out a lead magnet, etc. And before I knew it, I was basically five months down the line with zero outreach done and zero clients. So we won't be creating a, a website in this case. We will be just creating social media pages. And if you already have a Facebook personal profile, if you already have a Instagram profile, a LinkedIn profile, etc., just make sure you clean them up. So make sure that your image or your display photo, cover photo, whatever you want to call it, uh, profile photo is clean. What I do is I have a um, basically a statement on my cover photo. I've tailored my uh, Facebook pages towards the coaching because I don't actually use my own Facebook for any outreach. But what I would do is have a cover photo that explains what you do for your service. So I basically help, I don't know, dentists get more dental implant clients on a monthly basis by leveraging Facebook ads, something like that. Okay, have that as your cover photo, have a professional looking profile photo, change your bio, make sure you remove all, um, I don't know, tags from parties, etc., so that your socials look professional and um, when a potential client actually stumbles on your socials, they can see a very professional uh, young man or young lady that is offering a very high sort, high value, high, high valued service. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable, which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. Okay, then on day three, which will be the Wednesday, we will be spending the entire day finding out where our dream client is. Now, uh, if you are familiar with the motivational images, etc., on the internet, you will recognize this image where you can basically see two people uh, rolling a block of stone, I think it is, um, and then you see one guy that has basically sanded down the edges of the block and has a basically a round shaped stone and he is then rolling it forward and eventually he will actually win the race because it's much easier to push a round stone uh, down to the finish line than it is like, to have this big blocky boulder um, and trying to basically move that across or move that forward and that is basically the same approach we are going to take on day three we are not going to just blindly reach out to every single business under the sun we are basically going to figure out okay who is our dream customer and where is our dream customer on the internet so for example uh, for those of you that have read traffic secrets by russell brunson he also mentions this in the dream 100 so basically what russell brunson did to get his facebook.com secrets out in the open rather than spending all this money on facebook ads trying to reach the entire audience he made a list of 100 um, basically tribe owners 100 influencers 100 um, basically clients that have access to his dream audience so for example um, he went on a couple of podcasts uh, that were listened to by entrepreneurs because he knows if he can get in touch with the owner of the podcast and he can promote his book on the podcast he can reach a larger audience uh, for relatively cheap as opposed to trying to target that audience with Facebook ads. And that is basically the same approach we're going to be taking here. So what you're, going, what you're going to do on day three is find out, okay, who are you actually going to target and where are these people on the internet? For example, if you're going to target dentists, find Facebook groups where dentists ask questions and basically network with other dentists and like-minded people. If you are targeting, I don't know, entrepreneurs, you can look into the ClickFunnels Facebook group. Um, if you are targeting, I don't know, gym owners, you know, there's also, there's probably like a, some kind of group out there on either Facebook or LinkedIn where they are gathering as well, okay? So that is what you're going to be doing on day three. Then on day four and day five, you're going to be spending two entire days mapping out your method of outreach and your scripts. So 
what you're going to do is decide, okay, how are you going to reach out to these businesses? Are you going to cold call? Are you going to cold email? Are you going to use uh, Facebook for this, Facebook Messenger, LinkedIn, etc.? And then what you're going to do is map out what you are going to say to this business owner and how you're going to attract his attention. How are you actually going to basically get him on a call or get, get him on a meeting? And what I highly recommend you guys do when you are reaching out to these business owners is not to immediately start pushing your service and promoting your service. I've seen so many um, emails from other people that have enrolled into these courses and they've promoted like a certain way of doing outreach. And it's literally like a long email like this where they say, hi, um, I saw or I stumbled across your website and I have some ideas for your socials. I own this agency where I help um, you know, niche owners get more results with etc. Like I would forget all all that. Just forget everything you've ever learned about it. Keep it simple and just understand that these business owners don't have the time to read through a big massive wall of text like that. Just keep it short. Just say, hey, I've got a few ideas for you. Um, you know, is it okay if I send you across a quick video? Or hey, um, you know, I just wanted to quickly uh, shoot you a line because you know I've got some ideas for you that I think you'll like. Um, is it okay if we can hop on a call about this? Something like that. Okay. Again, depending on the niche or the industry, you will need to test it and tailor it towards that. But just keep it simple. Okay. So day four and day five are spent entirely on mapping out the script because you need to give it some good thoughts. Like how can you? Uh, basically attract the the business owner and how can you get him interested enough to hop on a call with you for example if you're going to do cold email think about your subject line like what can you say in your subject line that will pique his interest then in the body of text itself so the email what can you say that will get him to reply get get him to hop on a call with you or schedule a call with you for currently and so on and so forth then on day five and day six, yes, I know we spent day five uh, crafting our outreach message, but you know it shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't take more than a day and a half. So you can spend the rest of day five and day six spreading out your messages uh, across the internet. So like I said, you know if you are going to do cold email, you can send the cold emails on day five and day six. If you're going to do Facebook, you can send the messages on day five and day six and so on and so forth. So day five and day six are like the first real days of having the agency. That is when you're going to start with the outreach. Um, you know what service you're going to offer, you know who you're going to target, you know where to find those people, you know what your script is going to be. So day five and day six are basically when you're going to send out your blast. And day seven is what you basically keep. Uh, free for all the calls that may come in. So day seven is where you actually get these potential clients on a call. Uh, day seven is basically you know where you schedule in all your meetings and you offer your service. Now again, I've mentioned this in a couple of videos uh, before as well. What you need to realize is that a lot of um, agencies are now starting. You know, it's a very popular thing to do. Uh, at least that's what I perceive you know obviously i've got this like self-reference criteria where i am only active on the part of the internet where a lot of agency owners are so to me it does look like there are a lot of agency owners uh, starting up nowadays but needless to say you know it is getting a bit more crowded here and it is getting a little bit more harder um, to offer these services why because Facebook ads, social media marketing, etc. it's no longer new. Back when I started in 2017, my biggest obstacle was actually to convince business owners that they even need Facebook ads. Now, it's a little bit on the other side of the spectrum where business owners understand that they need it, but they want to see if you can actually get results. Okay, now there are a lot of these, um, you know, it, it, let's say just aspiring agency owners out there that don't really know what they're doing. They will not get results for these clients. So the majority of the clients that you speak to now, the potential clients, have actually already been banned before because they've spoken to another business uh, agency owner that hasn't actually gotten them the results that they desired. They've promised them the world, weren't able to deliver, and now they're very skeptical about who they work with. And yes, they will ask for previous results or previous history, etc. because, like I said, there's so many people offering this and they only want to work with the best because they know what happens if they don't. So if you haven't got those results, which in this case we haven't because you know we've started from zero and we're building it up in seven days, what I would do is offer a two-week free trial. And what I would do is say, listen, um, I am new 
to the ANC world. I have the knowledge, I just lack the experience, but what I lack in experience, I compensate with sickening work ethic, any, anything like that, anything along those lines. Or you can say, listen, I've learned from those who are top in the field, you know, uh, I've basically sought guidance from those who are experts at this, and now I basically want to try this for myself, but I don't actually have um, the results to back up my knowledge and my um, the information that I've gathered over the last few, I don't know, months or whatever. Um, so what I want to offer you is a two-week free trial in exchange for a testimonial video um, and that I can use your ads or the campaigns as portfolio material. And what this will do is it will basically build up the portfolio that you will get asked about from future clients. And what you'll notice is that roughly 30 to 50% of these trial clients will end up being paid clients as well. They might not have the highest retainer, but they will get you, you know, get the ball rolling, basically get you off the ground, get your agency up and running. So definitely try that out. And like I said, I know there are a lot of uh, gurus out there that don't want you to do this. Just try it out for yourself and see what works. Because at the end of the day, guys, like all, all, all this is, because at the end of the day, guys, you know, all of this is just opinion. It's subjective. You need to figure it out. Um, for yourself and need to experience it for yourself before you can draw your own conclusions and before you know who to listen to and who not to. Okay, so that is basically how I would do it if I had seven days to start my own agency, uh, start it up again from the ground up and basically start getting meetings in, etc. So I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, um, you know, to actually build up an agency will take time. So that is my uh, little triple disclaimer. I think I've said like three times now in this video, but Nevertheless, hope you enjoyed this video. Like this video if you got something out of it. Comment down below how you would set up your agency if you only had seven days. Subscribe to the channel for more and see you all in the next video.